Hi! Welcome to another episode of Cheers to That. Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. Cheers to you, Mary. Cheers to you, Leah. And cheers to you. You guys, we love you. We're back. We're super excited. Mm -hmm. We're very excited. We have a very fun episode today. Mm -hmm. um, should we get started? We definitely should get started. All right. So our first question actually was sent to us by email. Beauty question here. Hi guys, my skin is driving me crazy. I've been told that I have combination skin. I break out a lot and I've tried everything. When I use acne fighting products, I get dryness around my nose and my chin oh, right here. I've had that before. It's the worst. It feels like I'll never find a solution and I'm becoming very self-conscious. You guys literally have perfect skin and are so gorgeous. These people, I swear. You guys You're are so, so sweet. sweet. <laughs> you <laughs> only knew the amount of makeup we have on. Yeah. Do you have any ideas? What well, do you, yeah. What do you do for your skin? <laughs> well, I've kind of tried everything, and I went through different things, and then I was like on this whole all natural kick, and then remember we went to that counter, I don't know where, some makeup counter, oh, yeah. Marcus, and she was like a little too natural, okay, those oil is coming through, and but so then like, they wanted to sell us like four hundred dollar cream. Yeah, so I didn't know what to do, and um, I totally know what you mean because I feel like when I use stuff that's like harsh mm -hmm. at all on the rest of my skin, right here and right here gets super dry. Yep, those little areas. I know it's gnarly. We actually got. Um, I think we, you got it too, right? Yes. Um, the Clearagen. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just got a bunch of like skincare products. That's like a whole set. It's a kit. It's a kit. It's an acne prevention kit, and it is pretty cool. How it works is it actually produces hormones. Did really? You know that? Yeah. yeah. It produces hormones to block acne treatment or block the I'm acne. Learning something new, guys. The acne forming. That's how it works. Which is really, really cool, and it's actually available at Sephora. Mm -hmm. um, you've, you used it, and your cousin used it, Yeah, my it, right? cousin actually has been staying here. She's a little bit younger, and she kind of gets, like, acne here, and she also gets a little bacne. Bacne! A little bit of bacne, and she's been using it on her back. And oh. it's been really helpful with her. And I don't want to name names of other products, but she's tried another kit-type program. You guys can probably guess who it is. A lot of celebrities endorse it. And it, like, completely dried her out. So she's, like, loving it. And she, I mean, like, this sounds, like, so cliche, but, like, she's, like, it's giving me confidence. Which I think is really sweet. Because, you know, you have, like, little yeah. zits on your back. Like, it makes you feel self-conscious to wear true. tank tops and wear everything. And I don't know. So I think that's pretty cool. I mean, so I've been using it a little bit. I like the foaming cleanser. It, like... It sort of like cleans it, but without being super dry. So it, it removes makeup, bacteria. I don't know, it's awesome. They sent us a kit, so it's not out yet, um, but it's coming out, right? When it's coming out today. I've been using the cleanser. Oh, me too. Um, I have like a whole like regimen that I've been doing, but I also had my fiance use it too. And cause he gets a little like on the oh. forehead and we figured out what it's from. It's from, he likes to work out in beanies, which is like, God bless him. I don't get that. Idea. It's so like, because it gets sweaty right here. Well, it's and so then, like that silver lining where he's like running in that garbage bag to build up sweat. Exactly. And you're like, what are you doing? Of course you're going to break out here. Duh. So anyways, he's been using it. It's been it's working. working. Too. Yeah. Yeah. It's but nice it's kind of to have a little kit. I feel like overwhelmed sometimes with beauty and like, I feel like we, I, we get so many stuff sent to us and yeah. try so many things. So it's really cool to actually find something that works to tell you guys And about. it's like kind of travel friendly. I appreciate that it's small. You know what I mean? Like I could throw this in my bag and go. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Cheers Moving on. to getting rid of acne. Right? Let's get out of here. So we are drinking kombucha now on our health kick of this episode. What's next? Mm -hmm. Leah, just go ahead and tell the people. Well, we're taking a little field trip. We're here and we're very, very excited. We're here with Dr. Lisa at Global Vo Voice, what is it? Global Voice Broadcasting Studio. Yes. We uh, are so excited to have Dr. Lisa because as you guys know, we kind of teased that we were gonna be asking some of your questions to Dr. Lisa. So we are here to get some answers to some of your embarrassing questions. You know. Aw, embarrassing or whatever. <laughs> you know, no, questions question. should be embarrassing. Right? Well, you She's know, so uncomfortable. Yeah. However, you know. Yeah. I, I feel like I've had embarrassing questions for my gynecologist before, or that you feel would be. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you may feel uncomfortable. I've had embarrassing but... moments with my gynecologist. <laughs> yes, but... Should we get started? Yes. Okay, what do we got? Okay, Mary? so we're going to ask you. These are really fun questions, okay. and you just kind of have fun with it and answer. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to hear what is happening. What are your views on abstinence? Do you think it's okay for a teen to be sexually active? It's whatever that teen is comfortable with. It's really, you know, how you guys are saying, do you, and, and that type of thing. That's, it's really what it's about. If you feel like um, you're not ready, 
you it's just not for you absolutely and it's the best way to keep you know from having a baby mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> and from getting an std so because you have to be responsible once you start um you know engaging in sex so it's really what's important to you if you're going to have angst about not having intercourse or, or you know, not having sex or, or you're going to start feeling bad about yourself because you're making yourself do something that's not natural for you, it will come out later. So the best thing to do is to talk to your parents about it. You know, really, and if you don't feel that you can talk to your parents, talk to a friend or a doctor, someone who can share experiences with you. I think that's, you know, the best thing to do. And you can get pregnant your very first time. Very, and you can get yes. an STD your very first time. So it's mm -hmm. important to yes. make sure you know what you're going into. And we always care. tell, yeah. um, you know, our viewers, like, make sure you pick someone that you, that, you know, you really like and that likes you and you guys have you know what I mean because I think a lot of people are just like in a rush to get it over with that you're emotionally and then, ready for it yeah. yeah that you're emotionally ready for it and that you like the person mm -hmm. you know because I, I feel like like a lot of heartbreak around that and it can get to be really kind of a sticky situation right because as as women I think guys understand a little bit more but um, you know there's a difference between uh, love and having sex and that's really important to get in your mind just because you're having sex doesn't necessarily mean you're in love and vice versa. Absolutely. So, um, they're too mutually, they can, they can be, they don't have to be, but they can be too mutually exclusive things. All right, there, okay, well, there cool. you go. There I like, go. yeah. Since I got my period at 10 years old, I've had a lot of discharge and it's never changed and now I'm 21. I've noticed the smell and color change so I know it's not healthy. I've been to the OBGYN and they found BV but treated me immediately after. Since then I've been back and they haven't found any more BV but I still have the same problem. They also prescribed me some yeast infection meds but they didn't help. I'm worried that my vagina will never feel and smell clean slash healthy because no doctor has figured out what the problem is. I don't want to keep trying different treatments when they don't work. Please help. I've dealt with this. pH uh, with a vaginal strip um, by using certain medications and lubricants that can restore the pH balance. Um, also, uh, as you're starting to get your period and learning about the different, you know, methods, pads and tampons and things like that, changing how often you change them, which ones work better for you, staying away from the ones with deodorants because that can help also. Irritate. Yeah, ir you know, definitely can irritate. Um, also, uh, what a lot of girls don't think about is the hair issue. Um, oh, oh. Yes. Okay. Because your hair can be like, you know, if you, especially if you haven't thought about sex and, and waxing and all that, um, hair can trap moisture and can trap odor. So it's just kind of like I don't want to say the vagina is like an armpit, but in a way, it acts it a lot like that. Sense. It makes sense. And so when you sweat, it can just, just because you have hair, it can have an odor. So you may um, want to experiment with shaving or waxing or just cutting the hairs a little bit shorter so that the body odors don't get trapped in there as much. Get the fan and stick get that it. pH strip, and I think you'll be good to go. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's the next one, Mary? This is fun. I don't want this it to. Is, be, I don't end. want it to ever end. I okay, just keep love going. Dr. Keep Lisa. going. Okay. Hello, Lee and Mary. I have a question for you to ask Dr. Lisa. It's really quite embarrassing, actually. The thing is, I have lumps or boils down near the crease of my vaginal area. They are not causing any real harm, but sometimes they can be quite painful and uncomfortable and seep seep with pus. 
They can also get quite big. They are gone. When they are gone, I'm left with a purple discolored scar. I'm wondering what it could be and how I can prevent them and how I can get rid of the scarring. I'm really hesitant to go and see a doctor as I am too embarrassed. Okay, well, always you need a gynecologist. You need a doctor to look at it to really always. diagnose. But uh, you kind of just have to go bite the bullet on that one. Absolutely. But what it sounds like is vacne or vaginal acne or vulvar acne. I have never heard that. I've never heard of this And before. basically it's the same kind of acne you get on your face and oils can get trapped down there so she may want to look at what kind of soaps and um, uh, lotions that she's using in the area. Also what type of underwear and the elastic and the material that she's you know, wearing. If she's wearing really tight skinny jeans that can also be trapping the oils and everything in there. Um, you know, if she's showering, uh, especially athletes, if they're showering, change those underwear right after you work out, especially if you're a spinner. You gotta, and I don't mean when you get home, I mean you go to the bathroom and you take them off and you have other ones, you know, clean ones that you have in your bag and you put them on. They need to come off right away. Now, is it, does it matter if it's like a different material, like say cotton? Is cotton um, good? Cot cotton's good because it breathes, but sometimes you want a little bit of a blend because you want something to wick the, the moisture oh. as well as breathe. You're yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So absorbent and breathability is really key. Vacne? I have never heard of that. That is a new one to me, my friends. There you go. Um, okay, so is there something that, what about for the scarring? For, yeah, because then that's the same thing. Just like when you pop a pimple and you get a scar on your face, that's what's going on down there. Um, for her. So what she can do is use, you know, mild um, scrubs, uh, you know, uh, like a brown sugar or, uh, you know, something that's got a little scrub to it. And then there's even lotions with a little salicylic acid and soaps like that that you can use only on the outside, though. You don't want to get those kinds of soaps right. and lotions inside. So could you use something that maybe you use for your face? Mm -hmm. Like like a brown spot, you know, how they have like yeah, scarring, layer, scarring, you yeah, know. A lot of women lighten their that's right. Yes, they do that. <laughs> I've heard of that. I so have heard of that. The best thing is to, 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 to you know test a little area, make sure your right. skin's not going to be really irritated by it, and um, and then use it sparingly and see what happens. This is fascinating. fascinating. Um, you guys can find Dr. Lisa on iTunes. She has an awesome podcast, which mm -hmm. we were actually just on this month, so you guys have to check that out. Got the link it down below. It is called Health and Heals with Dr. Lisa, and all the links are going to be below. She's awesome. We love you. Thank you, you so much. If you guys have any more questions for Dr. Lisa, I think we should just keep this going. At I some know. Point. Just so. keep a just any kind of doctor questions. I love keep it. Keep them coming. I love it. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. <laughs> Did I you even know there was something called back me? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, back knee, back knee, out knee. It's a really a well-rounded... It's, it's a theme today. It's a theme today. Well, you guys, we also did a podcast with Dr. Lisa yes. called Health and Heels, and you guys can check that out on iTunes. The link will be below. Mm -hmm. She's awesome. And we want to know if you guys like this episode. I love it. I do, too. I think I could do see some more Dr. Lisa collabs. I, like I said before, it feels a little love liney. I like it. We get to be Adam Carolla. I guess there's a new Adam Carolla in town, but... Adam Crow will always be the one for me. So, there you go. <laughs> Let us know if you guys want to see more of these kind of intimate, personal questions. Um, and if you want to see more of Dr. Lisa, let us know in the comments below. Hey! Cheers Thank to Dr. So Lisa. Yeah, and, you, you and, you and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. We will see you guys soon. Bye!